Hello, this video will present you the file naming convention service to be used inside the BIMSpeed project. Inside the BIMSpeed platform, we do have a collaboration suite which is very versatile and which makes it very easy to work with files. This solution works like most drives nowadays, meaning that people can create any folders and when they upload a file with any name, the file gets synchronized with other people and it's very easy to work as soon as you are in a, in, in a work in progress. But sometimes you need to, in the delivery phase, you need to deliver files with a certain naming convention, meaning that if you want to drop a file into this delivery folder, it could be useful to have an agent which checks the name of a file and let you know that the file is badly named and help you to rename the file if required. This is the purpose of the file naming convention service in the context of a beam speed platform. Let's say that I am inside a project and I want to to have a naming convention assigned to this uh, as built directory inside my modeling folder. I can trigger the naming convention rule on this folder here by clicking on the three dots here and calling the access to services. Among the different BIM speed services, I am calling the file naming convention service. This is the service which will help me to design convention, file convention names and assign specific conventions to my folder. In that case, I have two existing conventions that I can manage here in the rule management and we'll take a look at how a convention name rule can be can be designed. Let's take a look at this one. Convention rule is actually uh, a set of tokens that are separated with a separator. Okay, so in that case, I've got a list of different uh, names here, followed by a list of different types of deliverable, followed by a list of packages, and uh, I can add a character between one and five character after that. And I, I have a list between four options here from revision to final and a list of type. Okay, so when I compose a rule, I just select an operator and can, I, I, can, I can add an element to it, a token, which is either a number of character or a range value or a selection between a list. So in this specific case, I could add, for instance, a range value to my list and extend it if, if required. So now the question is, where do we define the, the kind of list that we, the kind of selected list that we have? We can do that here in the list management. Uh, and this is very easy to define a uh, different kind of list. And if I edit a list, it's just a name of a list and, and a comma separated list of names that will appear, okay? So now that I have defined list, and thanks to that list, uh, I have defined different uh, kind of rules. I will be able to assign uh, a rule to my uh, a rule to my specific folder. So I have selected my folder, and I want to apply to that folder the UTB rule here. And I, I will now I am now applying the rule, which means that. From now on, any time I drop a file inside the folder, it should be named with one of these elements of the list here, this one and this one as well, and I should end up with a, a name which looks like that. Okay? I can any time disactivate my, my naming convention rule here. Okay, so let's now upload a, a file here. Uh, let's import a file. Okay, like this fake IFC. I import the file in the system, and you can see that now the agent knows that this is a, a folder where naming convention is assigned. I can see that this, uh, this name is invalid. Okay, so I can call the service list on my IFC file here. I have several kind of beam speed services that I can call, but in that case, I will call the file name in convention service. 
and this service will propose me in that case to rename my uh, to rename my file because it tells me that uh, I have assigned this kind of naming convention here. So I can rename my file. I say, okay, this is an architect file. This is a model because it's an IFC and this is in the specific phase here. I've, I can type up to five character here. Okay, so let's say A A A A A. And it's a final document, uh, and I want to name it like that. I can test the name to be sure that it's good, okay? And since it's good, I can rename a file. So now uh, I still have a versatility to synchronize file, but can, uh, I can apply naming convention to the file inside the platform.